No, I am now though. We're here on Abbey Street, and I've just seen a Scientologist. Stress test body routine stuff. So let's go and see what's going on. Oh, it's the bee do have as well. And there's Victor as well. Hi guys! Why don't you tell him it's not really free, that you're trying to sell him a book, or a course, or some auditing? Because you know it's not free. And it doesn't measure stress anyway. Ignore tech, is this what we're doing now, ignoring? Well, how about I do the Be Do Have survey on you? What would you most like to be in life? What would you most like to be in life? Nothing. What would you most like to do in life? Make a phone call? I guess. What would you most like to have in life? Drop. Well, if I could show you some way in which you could achieve that, would you be interested? Not much raw meat around today, is there? Hey, it was a wog. Did you notice that? You dropped something. Oh, two more wogs. Oh, that Ron, he was such a liar. Do you know how he says he was made a bl uh, blood brother of the Blackfeet Indians? Do you know that the Blackfeet Indians don't have a blood brother ceremony? You'll be angry when you realise you've been conned. You'll be very angry. You see, at the beginning levels, it does have some kind of workability. It kind of works. But the more you go, the less you can talk about it, and the less it works. So it actually stops working. There's actually no such thing as clear. And there's no such thing as OT. They don't exist. Ask an OT what superpowers he's got. He's not allowed to talk about them. Isn't that a bit suspicious? It's okay to doubt, you know. Critical thinking's okay.
Yeah. So here we are outside the Church of Scientology mission of Dublin while there's some stress testing going on. Stress testing is a way to get gullible pub people, uh, as Scientologists call them, wogs or raw meat, into the organization, make them feel bad enough that they'll buy a book or a course or some processing, but they don't like to call it processing, it just sounds a bit too clinical. So they call it auditing. Oh dear God. Anyway, here we are witnessing the whole thing going on. So if you actually look at what Scientology has achieved over the last 60 years, the answer is nothing. All Hubbard has done is get hope, hope for yourself, hope for man, hope for drug addicts, hope for criminals, hope for just about everything you can think of, and then sell it to people, but not give them anything. Look at your facts, look at this place. 20 years to achieve this. Can you not hear the insults these people are giving to you? They're actually saying worse things than I'm saying. At least I'm only speaking the truth. So Hubbard's taken like the, the good urges in man and twisted and perverted them. <laughs> Scientologist walking away from the scene. Dave! There's Dave. Well, as you saw, one Scientologist went running upstairs and the other one has just walked off up the street to... Is he going to go into a telephone booth and change into an OT? No, he's gone past the booth. So we'll just keep an eye and see what's going on. They don't like being told things, obviously. Oh, the window's open. Oh, great, the blinds are open. She's calling the cops. 